When having a war, there are few rules that must be obeyed no matter the situation. This means no civilian kills, no friendly fire, and most importantly, no excessive suffering. Unfortunately, rules get broken sometimes and soldiers end up getting the short end of the stick. This is exactly what happened in World War I when soldiers were subject to the chemical experiments of German forces. One of the most commonly used chemicals was phosgene gas. As enemy soldiers lay waiting in the trenches, gas-filled shells were fired overhead. Upon impact, there would be no explosion, only the smell of freshly cut grass. Before you can get the instinct to run, it would already be too late. When this colorless compound was inhaled by the soldiers, they would experience severe burning in the throat and eyes. Soon after, nausea and vomiting ensued and soldiers were left gasping for air, only for their lungs to be filled up more with this dangerous chemical. After a few minutes, if you weren't already dead, you would have wished you were. This is because phosgene gas causes lesions similar to those produced by burns or frostbite. After the gas had done its job, the trenches were finally free to be conquered. Booby Traps There were many ways to trap your enemy in the midst of war, but one that stands out as especially cruel is the trap of the booby variety. The use of these traps were prevalent in the Vietnam War. A hole was usually dug about 6 feet down and covered with leaves and debris. This was done to trick the enemy soldiers into thinking there was solid ground. These traps were then filled with jagged spikes that could easily pierce through skin. As they walked unsuspectingly towards the enemy, the ground would cave underneath them. If they were lucky, a spike or two would end them immediately. But this was a rare case. Most times, the spikes were poorly sharpened on purpose to prolong suffering. They even smeared it with poison and sometimes their own feces to increase the likelihood of infection. Now they weren't always this cruel, sometimes they would fill these pits with venomous snakes. That way you won't be lonely when you die. How thoughtful. Laser weapons. You know how in class you had that kid that kept firing lasers into people's eyes? Well turns out, that's a war crime. Looks like you're getting the death penalty, Billy. Lasers in war have been deemed so inhumane that they were banned before even being used in combat. The laser in question is any laser that can intentionally blind soldiers. This is because getting blinded is kinda, sorta, debilitating. If implemented, enemy soldiers would have no way to avoid the attack. A high energy beam would capture the attention of any unsuspecting victims and give them a heavy dosage of blindness. Those affected would be entirely dependent on those around them to get by. Because of this, they would inadvertently be more susceptible to attacks by other weapons. This doesn't even include the life they have to go back to after war never getting to see the faces of loved ones again, facing a new hindered reality, and the trauma of it all. This device has the potential to cause prolonged and unnecessary suffering, which is why it has been banned. Napalm One of the most cruel and lethal weapons to ever be made. Napalm is an incendiary weapon that was also used in the Vietnam War. This gel-like substance was dropped from the sky in the form of napalm bombs. As these bombs hit the ground, they would explode causing flammable jelly to spread everywhere. Those unlucky enough to be near it would have more than a few burns to deal with. Napalm is a sticky substance, which means when it explodes into flames, those flames stick to the victims. These burns were so devastating that even doctors had trouble treating them. That's not the only way this weapon can kill though. Because napalm burns so well, it usually takes all the oxygen out of the surrounding air. And because it's combusting and burning, it replaces the oxygen with carbon monoxide. So as you burn alive, you can't even scream as all the air you would have inhaled is now gone. The burns that you try to put out only get stuck to your body and cause more flames to grow. Eventually, you either die in pain or die trying to prevent the pain. Either way, the medic would never know. Biological Warfare the use of biological warfare has been practiced throughout history in many different ways. Biological warfare involves using diseases and pathogens to infect or hinder opposing forces. One of the earliest cases of this was the Siege of Kaffa. The Mongol army was attempting to capture the city, but were dealing with an illness that was slowly dwindling their numbers. Before they ran out of men, they decided to retreat, but before they left, they came up with a plan. That was to hurl their deceased men over the castle walls using catapults. The castle tried to remove these bodies as fast as they could, but the damage was already done. Individuals that came into contact with any of these infected bodies inadvertently got sick. Now this wasn't your common cold that they got infected with, it was the bubonic plague. They tried to sell away with what they believed to be all healthy individuals. But as we all know, trying to get away from a disease only spreads it more. It is believed that the siege is what caused the plague to be brought deep into Europe and be the catalyst for millions of deaths.